Well, it came as a surprise to many. The once liberal Pittsburgh Post Gazette endorsing the conservative candidate in the 18th district congressional race. But to others, the paper shift to the right has been apparent for some time, and it's anchoring some of its longtime readers. Investigator Andy Sheehan has a look. Rick Saccone was over the moon by the Post Gazette's surprise endorsement. It wasn't that fabulous. I, you know, the Post Gazette is, can be objective too, you know. But to others, it was just another betrayal of the paper's liberal legacy. The paper I once knew is gone, and it's a shame. Under publisher John Robinson Block, the paper's editorial stance has shifted to the right, endorsing Pat Toomey for Senate, defending President Trump's remarks on Haiti and Nigeria, and now picking Saccone over the moderate Democrat, Connor Lamb, warning that Lamb's election would spark a so-called blue wave of Democratic wins and calls for Trump's impeachment. Quote, the Democrats in the House have only one agenda item at the moment, and it isn't health care or jobs. It is impeachment. Regardless of whether one likes this president or his policies, one must ask what the consequence for the country will be if we dive into so great a distraction. Hundreds on the PG's website commented negatively, many saying they were canceling their subscription. And former PG reporter and Point Park journalism professor Bill Mushi blamed that on publisher Block. And all the things they've done in the last couple of months, uh, he's asking people to cancel their subscriptions. I'm asking him to sell the paper. To others, it's a welcome shift, including President Trump himself, who praised the endorsement in this tweet. Saccone also lauded the Post Gazette for its fairness while echoing the president's own distrust of other media outlets. We need an honest media as a check on government. I've always been for that, but we need a fair media. And unfortunately, the media has you know, taken a turn for the worst in many ways. Not long ago, the Post Gazette moved into this new building on the North Shore. Another sign, perhaps, that it is no longer the liberal paper of old, but one that is decidedly on the right. On the North Shore, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.